Imagine going to a restaurant only to be told that you cannot eat at a table. You cannot eat with your companions. You have to go into the restroom and eat alone in a stall on a toilet. Does that sound appetizing? Women of our nation are asked to do that all the time. We as a nation scorn women who breastfeed their children in public. Breastfed children are much better off than their formula-fed counterparts. Human milk has all the nutrients, calories, and fluids a baby needs to be healthy. It has growth factors that ensure the best development of a baby's organs. It has many substances that formulas don't have that protect the baby from diseases and infections. In fact, breastfed babies are less likely to have ear infections, diarrhea, pneumonia, wheezing, bronchitis. Human milk protects a baby from other bacterial and viral infections as well. Meningitis. Research suggests that breastfeeding may help protect the baby against obesity, diabetes, and sudden infant death syndrome, asthma, eczema, colitis, and even some cancers. As a woman and a mom, I chose to bottle feed one child and I breastfed another child. I fully support every woman's choice to feed their child when they want to, how they want to, and where they want to. I followed the Normalized Breastfeeding Forum on Facebook and I listened to many women fight for legislation reform over breastfeeding. Did you get that? Legislation over breastfeeding. We need to normalize breastfeeding. Babies should not be fed in restrooms or hidden in closets or breastfeeding rooms. We should be allowed to be in public with our children. Let me show you this picture. Here we have a mom breastfeeding her youngster in a porta john for heaven's sake. How awful is that? We don't have to go anywhere besides where we choose as women, where we choose to be in the moment to breastfeed our child. I don't like the sour smell of segregation being emitted from behind the doors of these rooms. These breastfeeding rooms could end up biting us in the ass as women. Breastfeeding in public for all the world to see is the only way to normalize breastfeeding. I don't like the idea of these rooms becoming another place that society tells breastfeeding mothers they must go to feed their children. Ma'am, you can't do that here. We have a nursing room for that. You can go in there. I understand that they're for women who choose to use them. I understand that they're built with the most genuine of good intentions for our comfort, pleasure, and our choice. But I remain skeptical about their benefit toward normalizing breastfeeding and how they could be manipulated in the future. We have as much right to be in the public as anyone else. I think there could be a time when we might start to hear, why don't you go to the nursing room to do that? And to me, this is the same as, why don't you go to the bathroom to do that? Again, I'm clear that this is not the intention. But in the United States, we're in a delicate situation. Breastfeeding is not normalized here. The culture climate could lead to the misuse of these rooms by society, not by nursing mothers. Women's breasts are over-sexualized and no longer seen as sources of nourishment for their offspring. Let me show you this comic. 
here we have a woman breastfeeding her child in front of a mall, in front of a Victoria's Secret selling bras. Look at those boobies hanging out. Here's a woman breastfeeding, no boobies hanging out. And here's the, the guard and the owner saying, nursing? This is a shopping mall. We can't allow women to brazenly display their breasts. The message that breastfeeding needs to be hidden perpetuates the over-sexualization of the female body and the act of breastfeeding. It can be yet another way to control women, to keep us separated from the rest of society. These nursing rooms could perpetuate the idea that breastfeeding is supposed to be private, modest, or whatever subjective words are tossed around. No group of people should have to go to a separate room, to the back of the bus, to stand outside or whatever just because they all share a certain characteristic that the majority or mainstream finds unusual or offensive. Abby Thurig, the badass breastfeeder, says no one has ever made any progress toward normalizing something by going behind closed doors to do it, especially something that is normal, natural, and nurturing. The act of breastfeeding is cuddling and comforting our young. This needs to be seen as much as possible. It needs to be seen now. Lee, who lives in Atlanta and hosts a blog called Vain Mommy, believes people's uneasiness with breastfeeding in public stems from the perception of women as sexual objects. Women buy into that idea, she said. If we use our breasts for anything other than play, it's not okay. We need to stop segregating breastfeeding women and delegating them behind closed doors. We need to make breastfeeding as normal as watching a child eat a chicken nugget. Internalizing that idea that boobies are for babies' nourishment, not for sexual play toys, is one way to stop seeing breasts as indecent. Every state, with the exception of Idaho, has laws on the books about breastfeeding. Is the answer to create more laws? I think the answer is in how we think about the way in which we feed our young. The law explicitly protects moms who breastfeed in public in almost all 50 states. 47 states, D.C. and the Virgin Islands, all have laws that specifically allow moms to breastfeed in any public or private location. Two of the remaining states, South Dakota and Virginia, exempt breastfeeding moms from public indecency or nudity laws. And Idaho is the only state that has yet to pass any similar laws. Currently, the only protection nursing moms have in Idaho is jury duty exemption. Did you get that? Exempt breastfeeding moms from public indecency laws? There should be nothing indecent about feeding a baby. Breastfeeding in public is not a crime. Jay Parr, in an online essay entitled Babies Hungry, a daddy's perspective on nursing, talks about a bus ride where a woman went to the driver upset because another woman was breastfeeding right there on the bus. The bus driver's response after being asked, what are you going to do about it, was to say, baby's hungry. So how public is too public? If you ask me, there's no such thing. Riding a bus, sitting in a restaurant, in uniform, in Parliament, in front of the Pope, you name it. A nursing baby is so much more pleasant than a cranky, hungry baby. Don't want to see it? That's simple. Don't look. And how old is too old? As far as I'm concerned, as long as breastfeeding is still working for both mother and child, no one else really has much right to chime in. 
if you're not the mother, and it's not your body, and it's not your child, it's none of your business. In short, I believe that no mother should ever be made to feel that she has somehow transgressed public decency simply by feeding her infant or soothing her child. It's not an act of rebellion. It's not an intention-seeking spectacle. In fact, it's not about you at all. It's an act of love between a mother and her child. Baby's hungry, so feed the baby. Because if baby ain't happy, ain't nobody happy.